Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Kat and I am Fedora Photos and Film. In this video, I want to demonstrate how you can create stack photos to make your wide photos look a lot better on the Instagram platform. I'm going to take these nostalgic photos that I took in Costa Rica and I want to share them in a new way. So I will take these surfing shots and turn them into a stack. And I wanna demonstrate a few different types of stacks that will work. We're gonna do a double, a triple, and a quadruple stack. So when you're choosing your photos, obviously you wanna pick the landscape photos and you wanna choose ones that will crop really nice in that horizontal way. And just keep in mind, depending on if you're using the double, triple, or quadruple stack, you're gonna be cropping into the photo a little bit. First, we're gonna do the double stack. So as you can see, it's not exactly halfway. How do we make sure we're getting it just right? First, go ahead and crop your photo so you have your aspect ratio, and we're gonna go ahead to view, and we're gonna get guides, and we're gonna get our new guide layout here, and we're gonna hit two. So it's gonna give you the new center right there. So this is now a background layer. We're gonna unlock this so we can move it around like a layer. So just drag it down and just, it should snap right there. There it is. So that's about halfway. Let's bring in the new photo and we're gonna just drag it over and drop it and let's make it fit. So you are cropping just a tad. You're just losing just a little bit, but not a big deal. So there you have it, your first stack. This double stack is very effective for stories, for posts. You wanna use those horizontal photos. This is so simple, you're already done, you can export. Now we're gonna make this a triple stack. As you can already guess, we're gonna to go to view, go to guides, and make a new guide layout with three rows. So I'm gonna drag in the next photo that I wanna use. I'm gonna use that one. Let's go here, let's use this one. Drag it in, just drop it on there. First, I wanna see if this will look good in the middle. I think it will. I think it'll be right in there. So as you're working in that layer, go ahead and click the rectangular marquee tool, and you're just gonna go ahead, it'll snap right onto those new grid lines, and you're gonna delete. But I didn't wanna crop his hand out, actually, so let's move that down. Let's move that down, there we go. Awesome, so now we're gonna just drag the marquee tool again to delete that little section, and even right here. There we go. So it almost looks good, but we need to position the other ones a little better now. I want a little less sky there, just to find a little more balance. I'm always looking at visual weight of a photo, and I think that looks good. I'm gonna actually change something here. I'm gonna flip these guys. Yeah, this marquee tool is very helpful for trimming things. We're gonna go ahead and work with that layer. Move it up. There we go. I think that's a bit more balanced. What do you guys think? And there's your triple stack. Now to make this a quadruple stack, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go to the view, guides, new guide layout, and click four. And we're just gonna move everything over, just like before. I'm gonna add the new photo, boom, drop and drag. I think this one will look good as the second one. So I'm already fitting this into that second like guide right there. And I like right there, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and trim the fat. Trim the fat, there we go. And we're gonna go to the next layer above right here, and I'm gonna just shift that photo over. First is this bottom layer. Boom. And then, last but not least, the surfboard layer. It's kind of like a really dope aesthetic right there. So there you have your four stacks. I think I like the four stack the most. It has a very anamorphic kind of crop. It looks very cinematic and it tells the story a great deal. So you're getting a lot of vibes in one shot. I hope you found these tips and tricks useful so that you can create better posts on a vertical format 
such as Instagram or even stories or reels. Um, I think this is a great way to elevate your visuals, whether you're a brand or your personal use and or a photographer. So thank you for watching. If you like these videos, please like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.